Hello everyone. So today we got a bit of a different video. So we're checking out a watch, which is uh, definitely not something that is normal on this channel, uh, full of anime, but I'm sure a lot of you have noticed in my videos recently, my watch has been missing. So this is the watch I normally have, the Seiko watch. I don't even know what it was called, but uh, this is it here. You've probably seen it in plenty of the uh, videos, except for those in the last month or two, I believe. So this watch here is one that my grandfather got me about five, six years ago when we first moved to Australia for my birthday. But of course, I was still in high school then. My wrist has grown slightly, ever so slightly. You can still see the watch marks from it. Um, and so this doesn't fit me anymore. I don't even have the links. I thought they were in this box, but yeah. They're not. So I'm gonna keep this watch to the side, but it was killing my wrist, so I took it off. It is a fantastic watch. I'll probably get a new link for it eventually. But, uh, of course it, it came to the, be the time where I've, I've got to look for a new watch. So, for my birthday this year, my grand sent me, uh, some money to get a watch as well. So, today, we're moving on from Seiko from my grandfather, and moving on to... A NASA brand watch. Well, this is a Zarek watch. So Zarek is a, a kind of Kickstarter watch company that partnered with NASA. So you know it's all legit if it's got NASA's name on it. Um, and they, yeah, they partnered up with NASA and decided to make the, what is it called? It's on the back somewhere. Uh, it is made in China. The, let's see, Tapest One Automatic NASA Edition. Hold on, my camera's a bit blurry and out of focus. Let me just give that a quick clean. All right, never mind. It's it's not actually the camera. It's just the label isn't printed too well. So yeah, this is the Tapest One. So this is something NASA discovered. It's um I believe a solar system. Uh, who knows how many light years away? Called the Tapest One, and it is the most Milky Way-like galaxy or um, solar system that could potentially hold life. So uh, that inspired some guys to make a watch modeled after it. And the edition I got is the Saturn edition, Saturn V or Saturn V. I'm not too sure which one it is, but pretty much that's just color variants. So we're gonna take a look at that today. Which way is the top? I think it's this way. So we got this nice little space print going all around it with nebulas and whatnot. Of course, having NASA on the front looks pretty cool, right? So let's just crack this open and take a look. It's felt pretty weird not having a watch for so long, but there we go. We've got the Zeric branding underneath there. That is the watch company that has been tasked with this brilliant watch. Well, let's uh, take a look at what we've got inside. So I believe there's a travel case that it comes in as well. Very nice. And uh, something else. Let's see what this is. A warranty card, I guess, and uh, share some pictures with the uh, the Instagram thing with was that share pictures of your new watch with our Zeric community, and you get to stand a chance to win five hundred dollars in store credit. So I guess you can buy yourself um, another watch, which would be pretty cool as well. But yeah, that's um, what one of them looks like. That's I think the red nebula or something like that. There's uh, basically a whole bunch of different colors. And uh, nothing on in that section, so we'll just chuck that back in. Put this all to the side for now. All right, how do you stand up? I guess like that. There we go. The travel case or travel watch wallet thing. Uh, it should just pop open. There we go. So yeah, I guess it's got. What is this? Uh, just a, a regular lock, nothing too fancy. Got this. Oh, it's fallen ever so slightly. Let's see, let's pull this out. So it does come with one of these. This is a, a UV light. So, shines UV. Nice. Why? Well, I'll show you in a second. Now let's grab the watch out of here. There we go, we've got a much better cushion than I had on the other watch. Let's pull that out, put that back in there for now like that. And there we have it. So, if you're wondering why the heck is there a giant circle 
there like that. So that is to repli replicate one of the spaceports. So it's supposed to look like one of the portholes looking out from uh, that porthole into space. But as you can see, the, the minute hand and the second hand, oh, sorry, the minute and the hour hand are supposed to be planets. And then this structure in the middle here is actually the Tapest One uh, cluster of stars, which is actually the second hand. So, and we've got like this cool kind of strap that's supposed to replicate the gloves the astronauts wore. It's got like a bit of red accents here and there. Let's see, has it got plastic on it? It does. Let's peel that off for now. Okay. Well, let's unstrap all of this while we're at it. Okay. And just in here as well, we've got the eagle patch for America that was put on the patches for the astronauts, which is pretty cool. This is an automatic watch, so basically you give that a shake and then that should start it up. There you go, it runs on, I believe, kinetic energy. So while I'm shaking my wrist, that'll power the battery. And there we go, we can see the Tapest 1 is now rotating around doing the actual time. Very cool indeed. Is there, uh, there is tape on this. Let's peel that off while we're at it. There we go. And it does say Apollo 11 up there, if you can see that. Just up there. Very cool, it does say, what is that, NASA edition, Zarek Tapest 1. It gives, oh, it gives even, so these are very limited edition watches as well. So this is number 318 out of 1,969. So very limited quantity. Uh, we can read it from this way. What does that say? Five atmospheres. We've got Japan Automatic. And last but not least, we have... Oh, that's the other way around. The tan something. I don't know what that is. Oh, and also we've got the Zarek logo on the inside there. That'll, I guess, impression into my arm. But it's very nice. So, now we've got this thing. What the heck is this? What's the deal with this? Why is there a UV light with my watch? Let's... Pull this out and I will show you exactly why. So yeah, UV lights obviously do like a purple shine. So the cool thing about this watch is you shine your UV light on it and this will also work with like sunlight and all of that. Get it to rev up that lumens I think it's called. I believe it's some kind of Swedish thing that basically holds light longer. And it is, it does light up. Let's see how well we can show it off. There we go. Check that out. It does like a nice, like ice blue glow. Of course, if I lit it up a bit more, it would look a bit better. But yeah, so pretty much that shows off all the stars now looking out. Let's see if we can get this place a bit darker and light this up a bit more. Give me just a second. I'm going to go turn off all the lights and then we'll come back in a sec. All right, all the lights in the room are off. I've just got the light from my tripod still on. Let's give this like a little flare up real quick. Get in everywhere around the grooves. There we go. That should do the trick. And now let's take a look with all the lights out. Whoa. <laughs> This is pretty awesome. Whoa. This looks amazing. Check that out. I really love the color. I really, really do. It's uh, it's different looking in real life. It's more like a, a greenish, but on camera, it's definitely coming out blue. I suppose depends on the angle you look at it. But wow, this is quite something else. So I'm going to have to learn how to just whoop, hit the camera. It's so dark gonna have to learn how to tell time with this again so 
Of course, I guess the portholes correspond with every hour. So I'll just look at that from now on. It's going to be weird, but I'll get used to it. So I guess it is 3.05 according to this. Yeah, that's the second or the minute hand moving up top there. And then, yeah, that Tapest 1 constellation just rotates around the whole time. This oh, it looks fantastic. I'm well impressed with Zarek and what they've done here. Does um, the back light up? I don't suppose it would. Nah, it doesn't. But yeah, this is a, an amazing watch, so let's just, for the time being, turn the lights back on. If I can find it, there we go. Oh boy, really bright. So there we have it. There is the Saturn V. So basically the difference is the Apollo version was just pure white, but I like the white with this kind of chromish plate going around it. I thought that was just adds a bit more color. I wouldn't normally buy a white watch. I tend to buy silvers. But I can't pass up this. This looks fantastic. I am super thankful to my gran who sponsored this watch for my birthday present. So thanks to her. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this very different video and my impressions of this watch. It's very cool. I'm sure Zarek still has a couple lying around if you want to try and pick it up. At least the time this video will go out. They still have them. I did get it on Black Friday, so it was on sale. I believe it was something percent off maybe 10% off, something like that. But yeah, very cool watch. I'm very impressed, Zarek. I will definitely keep an eye out on what they do. They seem to bring out a new watch every year and they're all space-based. So I'm down. If something cool comes out next year, I will definitely help kickstart it because this is fantastic. And of course, if you kickstart it, you get it at a way cheaper price. But that is it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, subscribe for more watch content next year maybe i don't know if you're into it i'll do it and if i can find them at a decent price as well but yeah tell me what you guys think about this thing because it is really neat indeed and i will see you all in the next one all right bye